Okay, picking back up with the Hurricane build. Got the cockpit pretty much together here. Now we start moving into 13 where we get to play with the instrument panel. Now the instrument panel on this kit is, if you remember, photo etch with acetate gauges. So I said early on this build is going to be without paint and that the kit would have to stand on its own, blah blah blah. But with acetate gauges, it's you know critical to put some sort of backing color on them. So I'm going to use some Vallejo Off-White, just so these things will stand apart when they are installed. So this is pretty easy to do. Flip it over. You don't even have to do a good job. We just have to make sure there's color back there. One thing I like about using Vallejo for these acetate gauges is it's thick enough that you can get a nice level of opacity pretty quickly. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. Now, you know, these are nice and white. Even when you put something behind them that isn't, they still show up. So we're going to set that aside and let it dry. So here we are, back to step 13, to deal with the instrument panel. So we're going to go ahead and take the liberty of cutting out the panel itself and the sandwich panel that goes on top here. Now we've also got to deal with the acetate gauges. So what I've done there, instead of attaching them as a single sheet, gone ahead and kind of chopped them up a little bit so it'll be easier to fit them and not have to deal with all that you know fussiness going on there so basically my strategy for these is pretty simple the acetate gauges here get some of this uh, gauge grip thin blend and it doesn't need too much See, there we go. Let me take this guy. And there we've got some gauges. Now, this is a place where you know the acetate really shines, literally. I mean, it, it looks way more like glass than pretty much anything else out there. Set that down. Let's get our second piece. The main thing I'm trying to do here is not get too much tweezer over it so I still have room to get glue in here. So there we go. This instrument panel is done. Let's stick it in the locking tweezers and set it over here so it can have some time to uh, do its own drying thing. Now we've got this piece, which corresponds to part C right in here. Now it's not in any way, shape, or form necessary to follow these lines because it's going to be behind the photo etch. So, there we got that one. Now these go sandwiched on top of each other. Take a little bit more glue. Thin stuff is nice because you can apply a little bit more of it and not have to worry about it owning everything.
Okay, so here we've got the photo etch panel. You can see the, you know, this center panel sandwiched on top, providing a bit of extra depth. And we've got the instructions showing where more things go. So I would draw you right here to this 46 plus 45 going here-ish. Okay, well, not really. There's not really a place right there. And the dials don't even line up. And you've got one, two here, and a big one here. And, um, what? One, two, and jack squat. What you do have here, however, are these little, you know, flat areas. And if you look at the actual part 46, it is right here, which to me corresponds quite nicely with right here. So in this case, I'm only going to use the instructions to help me figure out the part numbers. And that is literally it because I don't trust this thing's representation of what's going on here at all. And see like part 47 goes here, but there's a giant gauge right there. Like, what the fuck, Fly? Come on. Meanwhile, you know, I've got all these little spots over here where things could go. So I'm going to guess 47 probably needs to go somewhere more like here. Anyway, let's deal with 46 first because I know what it needs to do.